everyone! Today I want to show you nine different AQ World helmets or hairs for girls. Well, it's like more than nine. Each of them have their own little version of like slight differences. So in the next scene that you're going to see, it's going to be a new format that I made up for my videos where you can see all the items up front and you can just click on like the item you want and it will just take you to the part in the video where I show you how to get it. And if you're on mobile, there will be timestamps on the screen, like near the photos. And as usual, all the wiki pages will be linked down below. So the first two helmets are, well the first one's seasonal and the second one is rare and they are both out right now and it's currently June 25th of 2018 for me so if you're watching this later on this is probably not available for you and you're gonna have to wait until the next summer that comes and you can get it. The first one is the bright hibiscus hair and look at it, it's so much cute. Well, it's not so much cute. It's so cute. And then the second one is the Guardian of Light Locks. This one is rare because it's in the Quibble shop. So the first hairstyle, you can get two variations of it. In the summer shop, there is the one with the flower. And if you don't like the flower, if you press on featured gear, it is the beach waves hair. And the Guardian of the Light hair is available here in the Quibble Shop. And this one, as well as the male one, uh, Guardian of the Darkness hair. This hair, I think, can be used for both female and male. And if you're a member, you can get Guardian of the Light Scarf Locks. Okay, starting off with our first two hairs, um, they can be obtained in the same map and they're just two different variations of each other. So the first one is the Icebreaker Locks, and then the second one is the Snowcat Mage Locks. And they both can be customized. So to get these two, you want to do slash join Ice Plane. And I believe you do have to do the quest here to unlock the screens, maps. <laughs> I'm not sure what you call them. So you just want to walk all the way near the end. So the first hairstyle, the icebreaker locks, the one without the cat ears, you can, well, you have to kill this mob right here, the Animus of Ice. And the last one is this Enfield guy, and you have to kill him to get the snow cat mage locks. Um, he also drops a weapon, I believe, an armor, and a cape as well. So if you're interested in those things, you can get a complete set. Okay, so now I have three different helmets to show you guys. This is the first one, and I think it's called the Firestorm Fury Hair. The second one is the Burnt Bangs. And the third one is the Blazing Locks. So, to get all these, well, these three hairstyles do slash join fire forge and to get the burnt hairstyles just do blaze binder and then do rep class shop and it is these three hairstyles which you can get without having any rep at all and these last two you need well this one you need rank 5 rep and then to get the firestorm hair you want to click on quest and pick any of these quests you want to do 
you only have to do one of them. You go in here and you kill the mobs you need to kill to finish the quest. You turn it in and then you talk to this tiger guy over here. Press shop and it is right here. So the next hairstyle we have is the shadow stealer locks and hair. And to get this, you want to go to slash join Ebon Slate. This is the newest map, I believe. And you're going to have to complete, you know, some of the quest line to get to the final boss. But to bypass this, because I didn't do it, I'm going to do slash go to uh, someone here. And you have to fight him, the Ebon Slate user and he drops both these hairstyles and a third one that looks like the locks but it has a little skull mass right there instead but I didn't get that one yet so yeah so the next helmet has two variations it has a long hair version and a not long hair version it is the fey hair so the one I'm wearing right now is the long fey hair it looks like this in the preview, but it has this back piece. And then the fey hair only has the bangs and the ponytail. So to get this, do slash join Mobius. Mobius? Unsure. You do have to complete the quest line here and defeat the first chaos boss. And then you talk to do drop over here and do hydra merge. And it's right here. So if you want the one with the long hair, get the long fey hair one. And then if you just want the bangs and the ponytail, it's the fey hair. The next hairstyle I've mentioned before in previous video, I believe, and is the Caitlyn hair. To get this, you're going to have to go to slash join. I forgot what it's called. It's slash join on the run. And it is a merch shop, I believe. Yep. Let's go to shop. And it is this one. Caitlin's hair. And to get these bride and groom souvenirs, I believe you could just kill the mobs for it. I don't think it's a quest. Yeah, you could just kill for the souvenir and you can do the quest as well, which is just killing stuff to speed up the process. Hi, so the next hairstyle is the Dragon Slayer Locks. And it can be found at slash join Ashfall Camp. And it's the little dragon head and you get it from this girl in the camp shop for 250 gold you can also get the boy version the dragon slayer cut as well this next place I'm going to show you guys have three different helmets that I really like but I only got one because it is an AC tag and I need some space in my inventory sadly so it is the floppy beach hat and then there's a different variation of this with shorter hair and then there's another one that has a s snorkel mask on it instead so do slash join a coral beach and it's merch shop and there's also this member one the glasses and a different color hat and then this snorkel mask ponytail I wish they had like this kind of hat for females or like this hair which is longer <laughs> yeah but one can dream so to get these moon rock fragments talk to NPC and do and we'll click this button to Luna Cove when I walk over here to the right 
and just kill the first two maps of these mobs because these mobs have like no HP whatsoever and collect them then go back to Coral Beach and turn them in for the item you want to get the royal attendant attendant locks do slash join lust and you're gonna have to fight the last boss here and you're gonna have to do the quest but um i would just keep trying until i believe there's like someone here you could just do slash go to them and then it'll take you to the boss and i don't even know where the boss is because when I got this hairstyle, I did do slash go to, and I never did the quest here. So I'm unsure where the boss is located, and I'm so sorry. But if you really have no choice, do the quest line here, and it'll take you to the boss. Mm -hmm.